Hi, this is Jeremy Katz for Ogilvy Do. I'm here with Emma Holton, and we were going to ask a few questions about consent online. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. You had a terrible thing happen to you. You spoke about it just now as violation of consent. What place does consent have in an environment like the web these days? Not a big enough place, I think. I think that we talk about privacy all the time, but we tend to talk about privacy as a way we define certain types of information. We talk about, you know, nude pictures is private or maybe your address is private. But I think we need to shift the discussion completely and talk about consent. I think every individual should have a right to consent in terms of every type of material about them that is digitized. So I think consent is hopefully the new buzzword online. You took a radical action of your own to take back consent. What was your animating idea behind the work that you did sharing your own pictures of your body? I felt that the discussion that was, been, that was had in terms of uh, revenge porn or non-consensual pornography was uh, off. I think the focus was m way too much on the nature of the pictures. People were talking about nudity, about self-regeneration, about narcissism and blah blah blah. And I wanted to say, you know what, this is not about nudity. This is about my consent. I want to be able to choose when and where something happens. And when I don't have that choice, I, that is a violation. And it doesn't matter what type of material it is. So it was a way to show, you know, this is not about my breasts. Is it a, it's about my personal choice. And that was taken away from me. And that is the nature of the violation. Do you feel that it's possible to have a society in which digital compassion and consent can come back in? Or are we past that? I, th I think, no, I think, th I have, I'm hopeful. I I'll have to say I'm hopeful. I, th I think that this is obviously a huge new battle that we're going to have in terms of ethics, morals. We're going to have to think very abstractly about other human beings, about their rights, about how we talk and relate to each other. But, but I'm pretty hopeful for human beings. I think we, we've overcome tremendous things in, in these past couple of thousand years. And I, th I think that we can get better at this, but it, it'll take a lot of learning and it'll take a lot of new ways of thinking about how we relate through the screen. Um, and I think it should be part of you know, basic education that when you write a comment, it is an utterance in the real world. Um, and, and that is a new discussion that we have to have. You mentioned on the panel that an unregulated internet and then you went on to talk about all the ways in which that was terrifying. Um, I was wondering if you could tell me what unregulated or regulated means in the context of a digital world. I think there is a big misunderstanding that when I say uh, regulated, I mean by law or by state. I think by regula regulated, I mean uh, the fact that sites have to accept that they are not just platforms, that they are also curators of material and have some sort of responsibility for the experience that their users have. Um, I think there is a, a huge possibility for doing more in, in taking seriously what oppression means in an internet world and what kind of reality a user is meeting in an internet world. Um, and I think that sites have to realize now that they have a responsibility. Um, and there is a future there, but it, it's, coming it's coming along. They're, they're starting to get it. And I, I see huge possibilities there for making the internet even more democratic and more progressive than it is now. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you.